Hey everyone, what's going on? It's your boy Krebsy Crypto, and for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to mine Varus coin on your mobile phone here. As I show you here, I have an Android, and I'll be showing you how to do it on CPU through Windows. I have kind of an old server slash computer sitting around here, so lately I figured to try to set up Varus Miner again, since I've had people mentioning that they've been having troubles with it on my uh, latest tutorial which was I think like 2024 so I figured to post an updated one as I usually say with these uh, a lot of this miner software so like SRB multi miner here it had probably multiple updates since uh, 2024 for new algorithms new fixes new updates so that's probably one of the main reasons why people might not have it working is because you needed the updated uh, mining software and then for the Varus Miner, there's also uh, updates on the Varus Miner itself. So if you have it downloaded from my previous video, I'll show you how to get it updated and get it running so that way you can go ahead and continue mining from your phone. Because I've had people say it's working, it's not working. And I also just want to bring this to light for anyone that isn't familiar with Varus. It's one of the only few coins that you can mine on mobile and CPU. It doesn't really work on GPU. You can, but it's not very like... Uh, power friendly and the hash rate and the profitability is not good when it comes to GPU mining So you're better off getting like a mobile phone setup or a CPU setup and you can go ahead and start mining Varus Now mind you it's held up very well in most of this market with how the market's kind of been really up and down It did have a high point. I think of about seven dollars Canadian I think it was and right now it's down to about two dollars so obviously there's some pullback the whole market's kind of been chilling there really hasn't been an alt season yet or any big season yet really it's just kind of been bitcoin dominance going on but yeah i figured to put out a fresh video here just to help you guys out um i will be showing you kind of through this because for whatever reason my screen does not want to work after even updating drivers and stuff it sits with these black bars it's not the fastest computer because I'm using an old hard drive. So I'm just going to record like this and show you guys how to download it and get it set up. I apologize for that in advance, but I'm going to try to make it the best quality I can by using this way. And then through my phone, we'll just do it this way as well. So the first thing you want to do is, of course, get a Varus wallet. And you can do this directly on like your own cell phone or a tablet or whatever device you want pretty well. You just go on wherever you download apps. So on my Android here, I went to the Google Play Store. And all you do, if you're on iPhone, it's the same thing. You just go to the Apple Play Store. And all you want to do is type in Varus Mobile. And all you want to do is once you open up your Play Store or App Store, you just want to type in Varus Mobile like I did here. And it should bring up the Varus Mobile app. And all you want to do is install it and set it up. I already have it set up on my iPhone, so I have a wallet set up, and this phone I really use for mining. So I just wanted to show you guys how to go and get the wallet, because of course you will need that first. So download that, you'll set up an account, you'll save the seed phrase and get it all set up, and then it will be your cold storage wallet, I guess. And this will allow you to obviously uh, get VAERS transferred over to your wallet, and it'll just be stored on your phone essentially. So once you have that set up, we can start the process of actually setting up the mining software for Varus. So to get started, we'll start with the CPU mining way here. So you can get set up with using your computer and mining with your CPU. The best miner I've used is SRB miner. That seems to be the best one for CPU mining on Varus. And you can download the latest release as we see here. So whenever there's a new release, you can just download it. So all you do is go over to the GitHub here and then you can scroll down and you'll see releases on the right hand side. So anytime, let's say something happens and you notice, oh, it's not working or, you know, you're having errors or something, you can try a different version. You can click releases, you can go to the newest one, you can scroll down. They have all the older ones and stuff like that. They do updates quite often. But yeah, I went and just downloaded this one. This one is from last week. The current date is the 29th of June. So this one was just last week, so it's your most recent. You can go ahead and download it. And once you have it downloaded, it will be in a WinRAR just like this. So I try to focus, there we go. It will be in uh, WinRAR, so you can go ahead and extract it. So you can use 7-zip, WinRAR, whatever. And then if you're using WinRAR, you can just click Extract To and then the folder name. You might have to turn your antivirus off or set it through the firewall. So all you do is go to your settings and then you go to update and security, you go to Windows security, and then virus and threat protection, 
You let that open up. You can go to manage settings, virus and threat protection settings. Now this is not for every single mining software because some are um, verified with like Microsoft and stuff like that. So like it's all published and stuff. So, but if it's not, if you get like a virus warning or if it deletes it after you extract it, this is what you do. You go into the manage settings of virus and threat protection. You scroll down to exclusions, add or remove exclusion. You click yes, and then you add an exclusion and then you add it your folder here so all you would do is go to wherever you have it extracted and then click select folder for srb it doesn't seem to trigger it i have my uh firewall and virus protection on as we see here everything is up and running and on so and it didn't trigger it at all but again once you have it downloaded and extracted it's going to be to a folder like this so all you do is click into it and click into it again and it's going to have all these files that may look a little confusing to you, but it's nothing that hard. All you want to do is scroll down. So as these have like start mining dash and then whatever coin or algorithm, you want to look for Varus and it'll be at the bottom because it's al alphabetical. So you scroll down and as you see here, we have Varus. So start dash mining dash Varus. So all you do is right click on that and click edit and it should open up just a notepad. And it'll say this is just an example, whatever, you can leave all that. But down here is what you're gonna focus on. Is So what this does is opens up the .exe for SRB. It selects the algorithm, which is Varus hash, and then the pool. So we can go over some pools, but I use the community Varus pool, Varus.io. So you would put in your pool URL here, and then you would just paste your wallet address right here. So the one that you made on Varus Mobile, you can get the address from there and paste it here. So that way all your funds just go right to your wallet there. So that way you're mining right to your wallet and not an exchange or anything, because it's always risky mining to an exchange. But all you do is edit all those. We'll go over some pools here in a minute. And then all you do is click file and save, and then that will save it. But we'll quickly uh, go over some pools right quick here and that way you can choose some so a good website for finding pools for a select coin is mining pool stats dot stream and then you can go ahead and select the coin and algorithm but as we see here this is for various coin so various hash there's a few pools and you'll see the percentage and the hash rates and stuff like that of the pools but like I said I use various.io obviously you can go by like location and stuff I typically don't use the first or second pool because usually they're pretty stacked up already. I like spreading out the hash rate. But if you go to Varus.io, let's say, it should open up and it says right there, don't mind to exchange wallets. So you just click OK. And this is very simple. So this pool allows you to uh, mine on mobile and your CPU, which is regular miner host. That's your CPU. All you do for the CPU is use the regular miner host, so the second option. And all you do is click Copy. And then you will open up wherever you have your SRB again. And then you scroll down to your Varus. There it is, the Varus uh, bat file. You right click and click edit. And then you come over to pool and just paste it right into here like I mentioned earlier. And then just make sure you have your wallet address paste as well. You click file and save. And then you double click this and it should fire up and start mining for you to this pool. There is some settings like uh, I believe it's huge pages and stuff that will allow you to get even more hash rate. I haven't set that up yet. As you see, I'm using an Intel Xenon CPU E5 2620. So it's a little more power intensive because it is kind of like a server processor or server computer, if you will. But as you see, it'll start accepting and soon it'll start showing your actual hash rate. And if you want to view it on the Varus.io, all you do is come over to worker stats at the top here. And then all you do is go to miner lookup and paste your wallet address and that will bring it up. It's going to show all the top miners and top wallets and stuff. But all you do, like I said, is just paste your wallet address there and it'll bring you to the page to view all of your stats. And then as you see here, we have it up and running and it's accepting just fine. I don't know the I don't have the power consumption. I used to have an app like a program on the computer to show me all of that, but I'll have to try to get that set up again so I can see how much wattage is being used. I believe it's around 75 watts for the CPU. Could be probably a lot less. I'm just trying to remember from a long while ago. And when you're mining on this pool, you'll notice there is these rewards as well. 
So it's gonna be merge mining. So you're gonna mine these other little coins, but it's gonna merge with Varus and give you more Varus reward compared to just mining strictly Varus as well. So it's all on the Varus hash algorithm. It's just a merge mining, just like Doge and Litecoin. It's all merge mining. But as you see here, it'll give you a kilohash and uh, your accepted shares and everything, and it should be running smooth. But now that I showed you that, I will go over to the mobile version and I will show you how to set it up on your phone so you can start mining Varus on your phone as well. So you can have a little CPU farm, a little phone farm, whatever you choose. All right, so to get it started on your phone here, to get mining on your phone for Varus coin, you want to come to this link here. I'll post it in the description. Let's see if I can focus it a little better here. There's a little better. So as you see here, it's another GitHub. This one's a little more customized and looking nicer, but it's gonna start off here with the Varus logo and it's gonna say to download it. You can download the apps at the GitHub release, but if you keep scrolling down, just to make this easier, you can go right down to download Varus Miner and there's the APK download and other versions depending on what works with the phone that you have. Cause let's say you're using an older phone, you might have to get a different version of Varus Miner. But to download the most recent one, you just click on the download and it's going to bring down, uh, bring up this app here and it'll say, do you want to download this file app.apk? I've already downloaded it. So all you do is click download and then it will download and you click set up and install. Usually it's in your like file directory and then you can just click the install. I'll pull it up quickly here. So for me, it's just in my, like where all the apps are, the settings that you click for me, it's under Samsung It's my files. And then you go to downloads and you should see it app.apk and you click on that right there and it should install. You might have to disable some security settings, but I think it's all published and verified. So that way it shouldn't cause any issue. But once you have that all installed, you just want to find the app and open it. So once it's all installed, it will be right there. Varus Miner. I'm not sure why my phone's not focusing here. As you see Varus Miner right there. All you do is click on that and it should open up just like so. As you see, it's a Varus Miner. It's gonna say inactive at the top there. It's gonna come up with this screen right off the start, but all you wanna do is click settings down here. And once you're in settings, you won't have this yet, you might, but all you do is click this little plus here and it will bring up settings. Uh, all you do is click create settings. It's gonna say it's not being monitored or anything. That's fine, all you do is click setting. You can name it whatever you want. So that's kind of like the profile name. And then the miner names right there and how many cores. Mine has eight, so you click the eight or however many corresponding cores. It should detect how many you have. And then right here, you're gonna paste the wallet address from the Varus Mobile, so just your normal wallet address. And for the pool, obviously you can use whatever pool. They have a huge list of them here. But all you wanna do is select the very top one because that's the one for mobile, the 9998, compared to the all nines. So you click on that and it's gonna automatically fill in your port information. All that's fine, you don't have to worry about it. If you wanna go more in depth, you can set up local monitoring so you can open up a URL on your web browser and monitor it without having to do this. But once you have all that filled in and set up, like how I explained, you click the little save setting down in the bottom corner and it should come up with the settings here saved. And then all you wanna do is go to mining and then you're gonna see all your information. So the wallet address you had set up, all your uh, stratum, all your CPU information, everything you just want to confirm. It's the proper wallet address because I had that problem. I put a lowercase j at the end and it wasn't mining properly and I changed it to the uppercase and it worked because I just mistyped that. So all you want to do is once you have that set up, you click start. It's going to say, do you want to proceed? There's a dev fee, of course, for the app. You click OK and then you just give it a minute because it's setting up the environment. So we'll wait for that to boot up. It might be faster or slower on your phone, just depends on the phone. I'm pretty sure this one is a Samsung A20, so it's a quite an old phone. It's like the Galaxy A20, I think, or something similar. So it's an older phone, so it takes a little bit of time, but it still mines pretty good for what it is. And then this screen will come up, and then you'll start seeing your hash rate, as you see there. It has the accepted shares. It has your temperature. You should usually just keep it plugged in and charging so you don't have to worry about coming in to check on the battery life. If your screen goes off, there is a setting. Uh, if you go into the developer settings and change it, you can set the screen time so it never gets disabled. So that way you can always keep this up and going. But as you see, it's the Samsung Galaxy A20, because that's the version. 
the hash rate's 2.94, and you figure my CPU is 7.7 or 8.1 or something like that. So it's obviously far off of what a CPU can do, but if you have a few phones going, it's really taking nothing in hydro, and it's just kind of free money if the phones are sitting around and not really doing anything. But yeah, that's the process for mobile. It's pretty straightforward and easy since they have their own app. Everything is just kind of selecting what you want, where you want to mine, and things like that. So like I said, you will have it running on your uh, phone here, and then you'll have it running on the CPU, what I just set up that what I just showed you guys. And then for me, you know, I'm getting 11 or 12 mega hash in total just from these two. And if I enable huge pages on my CPU, I get more. If I add a few more phones, because I do have some more over here, I can go through them and set them up and add them to my hash rate. And like I said, it's just free money since the phones are sitting around. I didn't go out and buy these phones. I've had these phones all just kind of given to me from family and friends since I'm like a tech. So it's literally free money. You can't go wrong. And since Varus coin is like the main coin for this technology, the price is doing very well. The whole chart community is all, you know, bullish. Everything's kind of holding well. But yeah, I like it just because you have that opportunity to mine for everyone. You have phone and CPU. So everyone kind of is open to everyone on like, you know, some ASIC algorithms and stuff like that. Or ones that get overtaken by ASIC, I believe, um, Vares here, it can't really be messed with or changed too much or like overtaken by ASIC. It's just a very strong algorithm for a mobile and CPU. It's kind of built that way. But yeah, that's what I like about it. You know, the, the community and charts all bullish. Everything's looking good for the project. I believe it might be something within the future, within the next run. But again, this is not financial advice. This is not saying to go buy it, do anything like that. This is just my personal opinion, my take on it. And again, I just wanted to show you guys setting this all up. So hopefully you learned something from this. Hopefully this fixed some issues in the recent video that I did. Well, I shouldn't say recent, but the video I did last year about various and people recently just commenting and they're having trouble. Hopefully this ends up helping you for your CPU or mobile device here. But that's all I got. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that like and subscribe button. But I hope you all have an amazing day. And this is Krebsy Crypto signing out.